The Soyuz now at an altitude of 1,300 meters, all of its systems uh, performing normally. Again, uh, extremely overcast at the landing site and frigid temperatures of around 12 degrees Fahrenheit with a wind chill factor around zero Fahrenheit. Soyuz Commander Yuri Malenchenko uh, reported uh, that at the time of maximum G-forces, uh, the gravitational pull on the crew reached about 4.3 Gs uh, during maximum G load that occurred at uh, 7.36 p.m. Central Time. Less than uh, 1,000 meters now for the Soyuz until its touchdown point to the northeast of Arkaluk. Last 900 meters, 850. About a minute or so till touchdown. Standing by uh, for confirmation of the touchdown. The Soyuz drifting under a thick deck of clouds at its landing site. We're standing by for confirmation of touchdown.
This is Mission Control Houston, touchdown confirmed. The front screen of the Russian Mission Control Center with the words, Yest Posatka, they've landed. Expedition 33 is home. Sonny Williams, Yuri Malenchenko, Aki Hoshide, touching down northeast of Arkalik at 7.56 p.m. Central Time. That's the unofficial touchdown time. 7.56 a.m. Kazakhstan time on Monday morning. The crew is home. And a good view of uh, Yuri Malenchenko being extracted from uh, the center seat in the uh, Soyuz <coughs> spacecraft. Malenchenko completing his fifth flight into space on a total of 642 days in orbit, placing him seventh on the all-time space endurance list. Uh, that coming on December 19th with the launching of Roman Romanenko, NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn, and Chris Hadfield of the Canadian Space Agency. Sonny Williams uh, now uh, in this video replay being extracted uh, from the left seat as the board engineer from the Soyuz vehicle. Aki Hoshide uh, obviously uh, was the last to be extracted. This is Mission Control Houston. We're now getting live video of the uh, crew. Cheers going up from the flight control team here in Mission Control. Good view of Sonny Williams uh, in frigid temperatures uh, right outside of uh, the spacecraft. It was an expedited uh, extraction of the crew. Very quickly did the search and recovery forces arrive on scene uh, to uh, remove the crew. There's uh, Soyuz Commander Yuri Malenchenko wrapped up in uh, blankets and uh, fur parkas. You can see uh, in the background the first glimmer of daylight uh, with sunrise uh, coming up at the landing site in about uh, 36 minutes or so. Sunny Williams uh, wrapping up uh, her second flight into space and a total of 322 days in space on her two missions. She conducted three spacewalks uh, to emerge uh, as the all-time uh, leading female in terms of spacewalking time. Another view now of Yuri Malenchenko uh, with a whopping 642 days in space on his five flights, putting him seventh on the all-time endurance list behind six other Russian cosmonauts. And our first look at Aki Hoshide, a brief uh, view from the uh, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. You can see every now and then a snow flurry or two at the landing site, but all in all, given this time of year, the conditions are uh, quite good. Uh, cloud ceilings were reported at about 500 feet at the time of touchdown reminiscent of uh, some of the conditions that greeted uh, Mike Fossum and his crewmates, uh, Sergei Volkov and Satoshi Furukawa, when they landed just about a year ago. So once again, uh, the crew 
uh, was extracted very quickly from uh, the Soyuz vehicle, which landed on its side. Touchdown occurring uh, just 26 minutes ago, about uh, 52 miles northeast of Arkalik. Once again, Sonny Williams, the Expedition 33 commander. <laughs> Within a few minutes, uh, all three crew members uh, will be hoisted in their uh, reclining chairs and brought inside an inflatable medical tent uh, to have their Sokol launch and entry suits uh, removed. There's that familiar infectious smile of Sonny Williams at the landing site. The video being relayed half a world away on uh, a remote step in Kazakhstan. Aki Hoshide of the uh, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency completing uh, his second flight into space, a total of 141 days in space for Hoshide, placing him third amongst all time uh, Japanese space travelers behind. Uh, Soichi Noguchi and Koichi Wakata, who will launch in uh, late 2013, ultimately to become the first Japanese commander of the International Space Station. Назад отойдите, все на шаг. Камера не получит. Continuing uh, to receive uh, live television from the landing site uh, to the northeast of Arkalik, where the uh, Expedition 33 crew, uh, Yuri Malenchenko, Sonny Williams and Aki Hoshide, you see Malenchenko on the left, Williams on the right. At the landing site as uh, sunrise approaches, the landing occurring one hour before daybreak at um, 7.56 p.m. Central Time, 7.56 a.m. Kazakhstan Time, just to the northeast of Arkalik. The search and recovery forces were on the ground very quickly. The uh, descent module landed on its side, but the crew was extracted within minutes and um, flashing smiles, uh, all three of them, as they uh, are prepared to, to be hoisted, uh, to be brought into an inflatable medical tent 
to uh, doff their Soka launch and entry suits, get into more comfortable flight clothing, and then uh, begin uh, to proceed uh, towards uh, three respective uh, helicopters for two-hour flights back to the staging city in Kustanai. Now you can see a view of that uh, inflatable medical tent and uh, the harness uh, to the parachute, the main parachute, and you can you can get a good idea now of the uh, terrain and the landscape, uh, snow covered, about uh, three to four inches of snow fell at uh, the landing site in north central Kazakhstan over the past 48 hours. Valenchenko <laughs> now in the process of being uh, carried uh, towards that inflatable medical tent, followed by Hoshide, uh, Sonny Williams to follow. Sonny Williams, uh, the last uh, to be carried uh, towards the inflatable medical tent. Uh, the crew, uh, once again, uh, will get out of the uh, Sokol launch and entry suits into more comfortable flight clothing, ultimately, ul ultimately to board uh, three individual helicopters for a two-hour flight to Kustanai, Kazakhstan, just across the Russian border uh, in northern Kazakhstan.